may surprise you to know the universe you live in is not the only one. There are hundreds that exist in what's called a multiverse. There was not one Big Bang, but hundreds, maybe even thousands, with the same number of births, existing and evolving simultaneously throughout time. However, they may not all look the same as the one you're used to. Slight alterations in each timeline may result in a minor or major change to the history of each Earth. For example, there is one Earth where the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs went on a slightly different trajectory and skimmed the atmosphere instead of hitting it. In this world, the dinosaurs are still there and still the dominant life form. They have continued to evolve over time and have created a lifestyle not too unlike yours. Also, you are not the only you there is. There are many of you, us, living in parallel universes in the present time, living the same life as you, or a very different one, all depending on any variations in their Earth's timeline, thereby changing the direction their life follows. So that brings us here, to my Earth, where this story all begins. From a distance, it looks no different to yours. And for the most part, it isn't. We still pay taxes, traffic jams still happen, and no matter what our politicians do, we still give them shit. However, in my world, there is one major difference. In this world, everyone wears animal onesies. All day, all night, at work or out clubbing. This all originated from the caveman days, when we wore animal skins to keep ourselves warm, and they would become our animal spirits. Well, we never got past this notion of clothing. And here we are. As time went on, culture has also played its part throughout time, influencing the style of the design. To start this story, first, let's meet some of the key players. This is Jimmy the Lemur. Jimmy is an IT help desk officer, helping you out with your computer problem. This is Damo the Goat. He works in the local comic store. He is the guru when it comes to all things comics. This is Glenn the Shaggy Dog. He works at the airport in drug detection. You guys should totally check this guy out. Definitely smuggling. He guy. really seems to love his job. Love his job. And this is me. My name's Flash the Lion. Alright, let's go. I'm living the dream as a professional gamer. Now let's get into the story. It was your average Friday afternoon. We we're just getting together to make plans to go to the pub. Hey! 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 Hey, man. Hey, 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 The food bar is our local hangar. It's not a big venue by most standards, but for the suburbs it's pretty damn good. And it's only a stone's throw from my place, which makes it perfect. Let's go to the big yard and I've got to have a cigarette, eh? Yeah? Whoa, 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 hold up, man. A beer, a brew for me, for you. A beer for you, I do see. In my belly it will be. <laughs> I am not walking through where those two ass clowns are. They do my freaking head in, eh? Well, there's this old gate here. Why don't we just go out to the gully? I need a piss anyway. Are we even allowed to go out there? Well, and ask forgiveness, not permission. I didn't know this was out here. It's quite nice. 
Yeah, it is quite nice. I'm gonna have to come out here more often, I reckon. Yeah, for sure. Hey, you guys see that? <laughs> Not without a magnifying glass, you wanker. <laughs> Not my dick, man. That light. Could be a chopper. It's not like any chopper I've ever heard before. Oh, well, I'm here to find out. Oh wait, whoa, 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 Glenn, Glenn. Maybe we should just think about this. Oh man, the time for hesitation's over, man. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do it now. Let's go. Man, we cannot let him go on his own. Come on. For fuck's sake. Farmer, four of your strongest shots, thanks, mate. It's one of these guys, looks like he's seen a ghost. We told you what we'd seen. You wouldn't believe us. You'd forever think we're crazy. Charlie, so it's a pretty epic stuff. I'm crazy. Ha ha ha! We're crazy for sure, you think you'll be. Once you hear a story, you'll see! Ha ha ha! You think you're funny, do you, fuckhead? Well, laugh at this, no more drinks for you. Anyway, guys, go on. What did you see? I oh, shit you not. We just saw a spaceship land in the back paddock behind here. And four aliens got out and pointed to us. Oh, ho, ho, crazy together. Oh, you can be. I cannot wait to see you. Oh, oh. You see? I told you you think we were crazy. Get back. What? I also have a cabin. I was abducted. I was asleep when they took me. I woke up on this ship and two shadowy figures came into view. I looked up and one of them was holding a big black probe over me. Let out a scream and then I passed out and just woke back up in bed. Is he alright? Yeah, it's one of those myotonic goats, you know? The fainting goats? It happens when everything gets freaked out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Man, I've seen fucking worse, eh? Hey? How so? Fuck off, you clown! Didn't seem to work. Oh, fair enough. Holy crap, that's insane! Yeah, I wasn't having the same again. Guys, I think we should be going home. going to do now? And what can we do? That's an alien spaceship that's come from God knows where with God knows what weapons in it. We're just four blokes that have been down the pub drinking beer. Well, they did point something at us. Maybe it was some kind of gun. I think it was their hand. Maybe they're just waving at us. Maybe they're saying, get them. Alright guys, hey, what is wrong with you lot? Have you seen a ghost? Is no, there? it's so much more full on than that. We saw a UFO land in the park behind the pub. A UFO in the park behind the pub. Oh, you alien nut, you. Are you, are you drunk? No! Shit, you were. Yes! But we're not, we're not pissed. Uh, and we're, that doesn't matter anyway. I mean, when have we ever seen things that weren't there just by being pissed? Right. We're lucky enough to see anything as it is at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Any green little men at all? Yeah, four of them. Four of them. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I think you might have a couple of anal probes coming up. Maybe you'll fall. Good luck to you, Mom. Home to bed. Bye. Not helpful, babe. I don't want to get anally probed. Why would they anal probe us? To get entry to your body. What are they looking for? Shit. They could just cut us open. It's even worse. <laughs> how about how about orally? Can you deep throat? I don't want to find out. <laughs> Look, no one's gonna get anal probed. Okay, they're not here for us. They weren't looking for us. We just happened to stumble out of the bush and happened to see them. Then we ran away. You know, we could be onto something. I reckon maybe we'd just all call it quits for the night, go home, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do tomorrow morning. Yeah, sounds good. That's fair enough. Yep. yep. Shit! 
happening? I'm gonna get anal probed. What is it with you people and anal probes? Isn't, isn't that what you what you do? No. Where do you all get that from? Well, for one, Blocky from the bar. He told us about getting abducted and seeing big black probe. All right, the dildo. You people go on about that all the time. Look, during his examination, one of my team thought it would be a good idea to pull out a big black dildo and start waving it around in the background to try and freak him out. It was totally unprofessional. It's fucked up. It's pretty funny. It's fucked up. I agree on both counts. What are you here for? To arrange a meeting. A meeting? A meeting with you four. Tomorrow, same place, same time. Don't be late. You guys are not going to believe what just happened. So let me get this straight. They want to meet us. Yeah, today at dusk in the park, same place. Did sit oh, like I don't know what drugs you're on. Pretty pissed you didn't share. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Come with us now. We're heading down there and you come and see with your own eyes. Alright, for sure. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Hmm? say? Greetings from planet Earth. <sighs> oh, sorry, yeah. Greetings. It is good to meet you all. Wow, they, they speak English. It's handy, isn't it? <laughs> um, have you come a long way? Yes, we've come through this place, but through time. And back to meet our ancestors. We come from Earth. But in the far future, we're here to meet a group that achieved amazing things. <laughs> I'm okay. I can see from here. Just give me a second. You are our ancestors. We've come to see you. So, how'd you find us? It how did you know we'd be out at the back of the pub that night and see you guys? There are a number of movies made, documenting all the events that you were involved in. Like what? You'll just have to wait and see. So, where's your wives and kids? They're at home. This is a boys' trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the fun police. <laughs> it's the wife. Let me get this straight. His wife's in the future, yet she can still call him to check up on him. Ah, oh, shit. You good? That was the wife. She wanted to know where we were. I told her we were at work. We're going to have to get out of here. Bugger, we're out of time. Will we see you again? I Hell yeah! Have we got a story for you? 